team, uh, welcome to Tuesday. Um, today we've got three uh, five minute arm wraps. So five minutes um, to me, absolute sprint. Uh, you've got a minute uh, rest in between to catch your breath and reset before you go out, uh, ahead and hit it again. A minute rest and then you hit it again. Uh, three movements, we've got 35 double unders, 10 suitcase lunges um, and seven uh, push jerk. I'm going to demo this on uh, dumbbells and on the backpack. So our double unders, um, if we've got a rope and we've got space to use the rope, um, let's just think about jumping tall and slow, staying super relaxed on your grips and trying to relax on those shoulders, okay? On your jump, think tall and straight, and then just relax using our elbows and our wrists to generate all the speed. Um, if you've not got space or you've not got a, a rope, you can um, sub them out for either jumping jacks or the hip tap. So our hip tap, we're just going to tap our hips at the top, okay? Um, give you the same stimulus again, just think about jumping tall and slow. Um, two taps uh, will mimic a double under, one tap will mimic uh, a single under. Okay, uh, Very good drill for you if you're somewhere in between single unders and double unders and you've not quite got them yet. Okay, um, Moving into your suitcase, lun suitcase lunges. Okay, So a backpack first. If it's a backpack, you're just going to hold that backpack wherever you see fit. Okay, you can throw it your back or, or bear hug it. Okay, it's going to be five on each leg. We're going to lunge forward. Remember, just in our bottom position, we're thinking 90 degree bend in the front leg, chest super vertical before we drive back up and straight and alternate legs. Stay hip width apart with your feet so that you're nice and stable and just bash through those 10. Make sure that you keep that front heel on the floor and you don't lean too far forward. We don't want all your weight shifting completely and utterly forward. We want to make sure that you're flat footed on the floor. Um, if it's dumbbells, you've got two, it can be one in either hand, like so. It might be that you've got one dumbbell. Keep it down by your side, okay? On one set, do them on your right hand. On the other set, do them on your left side, okay? Uh, after the lunges, you've got um, seven push jerks. So, this is absolutely going to be a push jerk, so we don't want to revert to a push press at this stage. We are absolutely going to remember to dip drive and then re dip underneath that object. Okay, so with our backpack, elbows just in front, create yourself, feet hip width, little dip, little jump. Okay, from there you're thinking about punching and sitting underneath, like so. Head will come through the window at the top. We're thinking about landing, elbows locked out. We're going to sit back onto our heels with our bum back and our knees out, okay? All, as always, head will come through. You'll uh, tuck that ribcage down towards your belly button, squeeze your bum super hard, okay? Um, two dumbbells if you've got them, same idea. Dip drive, three dip. Remember the two dumbbells will have a mind of their own, so keep pulling them in close to your shoulders, try and stay shoulder width, that'll keep you nice and stable. If it's one dumbbell, we're still going to jerk. Again, like your lunge, if you've got one dumbbell, do one full round on your right side and then do one full round uh, on your left side. Nice little workout and uh, go after hard. Just make sure you move those push jerks well. Um, it's a great opportunity for you to practice before we head back into the gym. Have fun.